Hey dudes, and this is a review of AT&T Calypso. So at first glance, the phone is a little heavy and a little substantial. I like it. The back is plastic and the front is glass. It has a USB-C port and a headphone jack on the top. So let's talk about the screen. It is big and it is dark. This is already a maximum brightness. So uh, yeah, it's not that great. So let's talk about the cameras. This phone has a five megapixel front and back. Both record in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And the front facing camera is not that great, but the back camera is quite decent, even though both of them don't have image stabilization. So get ready for your footage to be very wobbly. Up next is the performance of the phone. When you look at it, it is somewhat responsive, but this only has one gigabyte of RAM and it runs Android 10 Go Edition, which is pretty much tells you that this phone is not something you would use for something more heavy intensive. You would need to download light versions of apps you wanted, so it runs way smoother. If you want to put Facebook here, just go for Facebook Lite because this phone is not that quick. Opening apps also takes a while, so yeah, you also need to have patience just to open the apps. My hair is getting too long. Should I cut it? This phone can zoom. So dudes, here are my thoughts about the AT&T Calypso. First off, it is a nice phone. It looks very nice. Camera quality? No. Performance? No. Anything else? Mm, it is a basic phone. So if you want a basic phone, this is a basic phone. But if you want something better, this is not it. So I rate it two out of five stars. Two because it looks nice. It actually looks nice. But inside of this phone, yeah, it's not something I would like. So yeah, that was a review of AT&T Calypso. So anyways, dudes, I'm New Queer and see you later. Hopefully uh, someone would use this phone instead of me because I'm done testing with it.